Hello, welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I'm gonna to be making an aloe vera soap using this fragrance from Nature's Garden. It's called Amber Waters. And this is wonderful. It is kind of a masculine scent, but it definitely has a freshness to it. I'm loving it. Uh, the reviews, I've not soaked with this before, but the reviews said it didn't cause any troubles making the soap, uh, good retention, and no discoloration. We shall see. <laughs> I'm bringing you along. So the aloe vera uh, will be my lye portion, will be my, let me say that again. The lye solution will be an aloe vera juice <laughs> in there for the liquid portion and for the colors. Let's get to that. My Proud Peacock from Nurture Soap is one of my favorite blues. This is so pretty and it's definitely got an aqua tinge to it. I love it. And then along with that, I got this from Be Scented Seafoam Green. I thought to represent the waters portion. I thought these two are gonna look beautiful together. So those are gonna be the colors, aloe vera in the lye, and I think that's about it. And I'm just gonna do it swirly, lovely, and probably just a scoop top. We'll see when we get there and see how this fragrance is behaving. So let me get everything pulled together and let's make some amber waters soap. All right, so it's additives time for the amber waters and I wanted to read the scent description. It's got a lot in here and I couldn't remember it off the top of my head. So it has top notes and it does say that this is a masculine scent. Uh, top notes of grapefruit, Italian bergamot and red berries, middle notes of lilies, lavender and marine accord and base notes of golden amber, patchouli and guaiatic wood. I have no idea what that is. Um, and even though the middle notes are lavender and lilies, I do not smell any floral in this at all. It just is sort of a bright, crisp, masculine scent. It's not smoky, it's more crisp, and I really like it, very fresh. I have these jojoba beads, and they are Lagoon Green. From I got these from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and they're just tiny, tiny little pearls of jojoba oil in a little, um, mica they're little balls of hoba oil so they're pretty awesome and luxurious and if the colors I'm, i might add this to either the uncolored portion of the soap so for little uh you know sparkles in there not sparkles little pop of color or i might sprinkle them on top i'm just i don't know i have them out they're sitting there they kind of went with the color theme i'm doing so these are off to the side may or may not be using them now let's get to the additives sorry i'm rambling Today, uh, because it's an aloe vera soap, I'm not gonna use cream, I'm not doing milk and oil, I'm just gonna do the kale and clay, two tablespoons, and two tablespoons of colloidal oats. And those are my dry additives. I'm gonna get these blended in till they're nice and smooth and let them absorb and anchor in there, and then we'll get moving forward with the aloe vera lye solution. All right, we're ready to move forward. And I do have the fragrance already in here. The reviews uh, said that it didn't cause any acceleration. So I'm just gonna proceed with caution, but it's easier for me if I just throw it on in the oil. So fragrance is in. This is my aloe vera lye solution, which is aloe vera juice. I get it in big one gallon jugs and I keep it in the refrigerator. I don't freeze it, but it is cool. Um, and to this, I added some cane sugar. Tussa silk fibers and sodium lactate is what's in the lye pot here, and it's wonderful. So here are my colors. Are they gorgeous? I have them dispersed in just a little bit of distilled water. I do such a steep water discount when I soap. Uh, I soap at about 28% um, water volume, so it's a very steep discount, and so I have a little extra room to play around with, and I can disperse my micas in there. You can also disperse your micas in oil. You can take oil out of your soap batch and disperse it. I've seen people do that, and it's wonderful. Um, oil and micas make a very smooth mixture it's wonderful so this is just how i do it um you kind of get in habits when you're soaping so you'll find your own niche if you're a soaper and you might not do it exactly like i do and that's okay so let's add the aloe vera juice in here this smells so fresh and good and i think i am going to add those little jojoba beads into the um uncolored portion, just like a teaspoon in there for little flecks of green. I think it's such a pretty color. And then I might also put some on top. You know, let's just go all in. They were just so pretty and I saw them, they were sitting on my shelf and I'm like, oh, I haven't used these in a while and the color theme. So every once in a while, something will just jump out at you and you gotta roll with it.
right, it's the next day. <laughs> and uh, let me just say, uh, of course, I did have the fragrance in the lye solution already. When I started, I was soaping at about 80 degrees and it seemed like it was going, you know, pretty normal. And then it just started speeding up pretty quick. But we got it in the mold. I think the top looks really cool and swirly and very watery, don't you think? Um, I did, after I got it poured and did the hanger swirl, I banged it down on the ground. So I'm hoping I don't have any air pockets in here. I just did a little choppy up and down. To, hopefully it'll look like waves. We shall see. What do you say? Let's get in here and see what we've got. It smells really good. Um, so I hope it's worth it. It just, you know, I just kind of had to really get moving towards the end. It wasn't bad. It wasn't soap on a stick, but I really had to move to make this work. So let's see if it's worth it. Time to cut these loaves into bars and um, so it's going to be a lighter color right now it's still doing its soapy thing it's a little bit dark has that sort of greenish hue to it but it's going to be this nice bright ivory when it's all done and you can just barely make out the tiny little flecks in there very subtle but you know the jojoba oil is going to just add another element to this so I think these are going to be fabulous bars with the aloe vera and the little jojoba beads and on top, they got kind of sandy looking. So I don't know, they're maybe not great on top of the soap. I think they're more great in the soap or for like, um, I will probably add them to a sugar scrub or a whipped body butter or something like that. But on the top, when I started putting them down, it just sort of looked sandy to me. Ooh, these are gonna be cute inside. So anyway, that's just my thoughts. And look, no air pockets and I got a choppy swirl. The colors are really pretty also. So even though I had to really shake a leg <laughs> and get moving on this, wow, I'm very happy with how these came out. And these do, today they smell really fresh, really good. This is a very nice scent, this Amber Waters. Um, so I, if, I, if I use this fragrance again, I will probably keep a very simple pattern like this um, maybe just one color to swirl, something that you need to move a little faster on. But um, I'm pretty happy with these, pretty tickled. Smell great, look great. I think it was worth the rush. And of course, I'm really pushing things when I put a fragrance that I've never used before in the oils. So, you know, that is a user or a maker's error that I did. So if, you know, if I use this again, I'll probably hold it off till the colors are combined, but definitely worth it. Oh, I, these just speak sort of, I don't amber waters to me. It does look very watery. It smells very fresh. I'm loving it. All right, so I wanted to show you what I do with the end pieces. This one little thin slice on this side of the loaf when I cut them is a quarter size of a bar and it, these get bundled up in four packs for my soap end bundles. And then this thicker side is, I don't know, it's about three quarters of a bar. It's a little bigger than half. So what I do with this end is, gotta clean the wire off here a little. I cut it again to get another quarter size for my bundle. Make sure it's all straight. Okay, so I have another slice for my bundle pack, and now I have this slice that I now cut in half again and make my samples that go in every order. When you order with me, I try to throw in at least one or two little soap samples just because it's so fun. I try to give you something that you didn't order, you know, try something new. Got to hold it real steady, these skinny pieces. There, so I've got my little widgets, and then literally just run them through here and 
and I get these little sample soaps. Here, I'll do it again here with the top. And they're nice little size. Here we go. And those are my little sample soaps that come in the orders. So that's what I do with those end pieces. All right, let's keep cutting. I'm actually loving the top. It looks like a stormy sea, doesn't it? <laughs> These definitely are giving me water or oceany type vibes. And I'm looking here to see if in the middle I don't know if you can pick up those little jojoba beads in there or not just gently they're very subtle but they're in there 